What is up, guys? Sweet Awesome here, and um, we're back with the Silent Age. This uh, is episode three of our Let's Play slash walkthrough. Um, and um, so we're uh, uh, at like part two of it. We're not at episode two though. We're at part two. The future. And um, we've just arrived in the future. If you missed what happened last episode, so now we're gonna have to investigate. So this is weird. Hmm. So the time travel device seems to be dead, which isn't good. So uh, Man. <sighs> hmm, I think he must be a bit dizzy. Don't know, some sort of weird time sickness thing. If you guys don't like certain sorts of things, I suggest you sort of look away now, because there's a guy dead here, and if you don't like those sorts of things, I suggest you don't look, I guess. So, what you're going to have to do, I'm not always 100%, I'm not exactly 100% sure what you're supposed to do here, I have played the first bit quite a few times, so I definitely know what I'm doing at that bit. Far out! Okay, so, there's nowhere to get in here at the moment. So we can't really do anything. Looks like it's a like a far way, far way. It's like quite difficult to get down. So there's only one thing we can really do. Um, just gotta look around for things. That's what you gotta do. And uh, you're gonna have to inspect this body. There's a key on it. You gotta get the key. Not the door. Because it doesn't unlock this door though. It unlocks the evidence room downstairs. Stupid. Um, so, yeah. Um, oh my god, he's dead. He's dead. No. Lieutenant F. Bukovowski, seven, two, yeah, that's his full name, actually. Okay, so we can't really do anything in that room at the moment. Well, we have this police dude's, like, evidence. No, evidence? We've got this police dude's stuff. Can we unlock the door with the card? Yes. Yes, we can. So, this is a interesting room. Oh, it's got a hmm. code. Maybe I could uh, use that code to unlock the safe. Maybe not. It's up to you. Uh, so, yeah. Sorry about last episode, guys. Like... There was loads of talking in it, and there was barely anything that actually happened. I suppose it was to do with the story, but it wasn't really anything too important. But, uh, so yeah. Okay, so we're going to have to oil up the evidence locker, or the door, or whatever. But we need a, uh, we got to go up to that safe. Put the code in. Because that's that's what the that's what the code's for. It unlocks the safe. Whoops. There we go. So got a paper clip. Wonder what we're gonna do with that. So obviously, you don't have to watch this if you aren't like if you don't want to spoil the game. You don't have to watch this. Obviously, I'm not making you watch it, but uh, I'm just saying wow. this does contain like major spoilers. Okay, so there's that guy who's hanging, and uh, we've got to find a way out of this place, basically. And the only room that is, like, the only room that we can actually get into at the moment is this one. And the only thing we can really do is, well, cut this with the sword, because, like, that's it. So now we can actually get in here, which is good. But there's not a way out. Unless we get out the window. So you'd have to so you have to smash the window. You can go outside now. But uh there's no way down. <laughs> it's really far down, as he's saying. So what you're gonna have to do is because that guy was hanging there earlier, we're gonna have to go and get him. And, um, gonna have to get the rope that was around his neck, because 
I don't know. I don't. We don't. I don't even know why he's hanging. He must have been sad because a disease has broken out or something. I don't know. Something bad's happened. Whole world's gone to hell. It's not very nice now. Something must have happened. Like a nuclear blast or something. I don't know. Except I do know, but I don't know. I don't want to spoil it for you guys. Oh, I'm going to try not to at least. So now we're on chapter three. Um, the machine. So this one's about the time machine. We're going to just kind of play this for a little bit longer. So now uh, there's a bit of light here. If we step into the light, now our uh, time machine is charged, so we can travel backwards and forwards through time. Uh, our hearts content. Or to our heart's content, if that makes any more sense. So now we can uh, actually do stuff. So what we're going to want is a screwdriver. To open up this back lock door. Go inside. With our umbrella of doom. Or I don't know. Don't question me, please. I don't know why I said please. There was no point in that. Go back in time, check out the cop who's unconscious. Gotta get the baton, or the baton, baton, bat I don't know how it's pronounced. Baton, baton, I don't know, please, uh, shut up, just sh shut up, sh 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 shut, sh shut up. Yes! That was weird, you just went, yes! Okay. So now we're going to want to get this carpet for later. Uh, we're going to climb through this hole on the floor because, yeah. So now at this point, we're in this house now, sort of thing. We can travel backwards and forwards through time. It's kind of dark in the room, but you want to be in the past. And you're, or the present day, whatever you want to call it. And uh, we've got to get this wallpaper paste because we've got to get into that other room somehow. Hmm. So, can't get through there, the door's locked, there's no way out by the looks of it, except if we rip this wallpaper off actually, there's a way out. Crud. I actually can't remember what you're supposed to do now, this is annoying. <laughs> that isn't good is it? Oh wait, yeah, I just remembered, we have a key, just unlock the door, stupid. So, we're going to want to get into this room. Because we're supposed to be getting to the hospital to find out where that guy, the guy lives. The guy who just died. We've got to find out where he lives. So, we are going to have to find our way to the hospital, which is over there. And since... I don't know, we just got to find our way to the hospital. So, if you think about it, this, this is all time travel. So, in the past, that thing... In the future, that thing will grow up the wall. But now, it won't because we poured, like poison on it or something. I don't know. I don't know. So, now we have to go through here. Man. But the, oh no, the handles come off. Oh no, that's so bad. So we'll just go in here and unlock the door that way. This room's a mess. There we go, we cleaned it up. Yay. Um, so, oh look, Mr. I'm a newsman. So, he starts to get to the hospital, and this is the only way we can go, so we have to smash the window and climb out that way. Oh wow, now we're on chapter four. Okay, I know we're going through this game quite quickly, but I know what I'm doing, so, yeah, this might be quite a short thing. We're at the next chapter now. Probably should have cut this in half a little bit. I might, I might not. I probably won't. So, uh, we're gonna need this broom. This is, I know this sort of seems a bit like a speed run. It kind of might be, actually. Probably not. I'm not trying to go any fast. I just, huh. just how my mind is working at the moment. So, we're supposed to be getting to the hospital. So, I think we're quite close. Nice. Oh, I've opened the door. I wonder what's in here. <gasps> oh no. There's a hospital. But there's a policeman there. 
on the painter. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Uh, it sort of cut off just then. But we're on chapter four now, which is good. Um, so I know this little bit that I've just added on is kind of short, but uh, it was like, I don't know, less than five seconds. But I, I completely forgot this recording software only records for 10 minutes, and uh, I just lost track of time. So, um, yeah, see you in the next episode. Rate, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to like or rate. That's the same thing. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Bye.